What's up guys? Wanted to make a quick video and show you um, all the camera equipment that I use for paintball uh, photography. I get a lot of questions uh, on Instagram. People ask me, hey, what's your setup? What do you use? Um, there's not too much like information out there for people interested in, in um, shooting paintball photography. And it's such a wide range of uh, style and um, types of gear that you could use that there just really is no easy answer. Um, but there, there are some standard types of lenses um, and camera bodies that you could start on um, that would really benefit you. So the standard in all sports photography is a 70 to 200 millimeter f 2.8, very important, um, lens. And what this, it's a zoom lens. Uh, so what it allows you to do is you'll start at 70 millimeters and then you'll focus in all the way to 200. So you get your tight shot. Um, tight shots and paintball are um, extremely important. That's pretty much all you're really working with um, when you're, you're shooting raw footage on the field. Um, when you're in the pits, you're really going to use um, a shorter lens that has a smaller focal length so probably like a 35 millimeter lens uh this is what i use it's uh it's got paintball marks all over it um it's a sigma art lens um it's only 35 millimeters that means that it doesn't zoom <laughs> so you're only gonna get a 35 millimeter shot um it's a good focal length. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it for like a super wide shot. You're probably going to want to go like with a 15 millimeter, uh, or smaller for a wide shot. And, uh, I definitely wouldn't shoot wide for raw footage for video, uh, of, of teams playing. Um, because you're not, you're not going to be able to zoom in and that's really what people want to see. They want to see the tight shot. And that's why the 70 to 200 millimeter is, it's so important. Um, I also use a 70 to 300 millimeter, uh, but it's got a variable f-stop. So it gets pretty dark and it's not as sharp as the 2.8. Uh, this one has um, a variable of like, 4.5 to 5 uh it's just too dark it's not really a great lens for video or photos it's just in the, the extra 100 millimeters that you get on the focal length it's not really worth it um it is a backup lens so i, I mean i use it sometimes and it's still good still canon l lens still still get sharp results just not a you don't get like that blurry bokeh in the background like you do with the 2.8 um you're not gonna find that uh this is a sam yang this is one of the very first lenses i ever used in paintball photography um it is a manual lens so let me repeat that this is a manual lens it is not there is no autofocus with this so oftentimes i was adjusting uh the aperture and the focus ring at the same time while trying to get action shots of people diving into the snake. Um, not a good, not a good idea. I will say, however, though, for still like non-action shots, one of the sharpest lenses I have ever used to shoot still photography. Not bad for cinematography either. Um, what else? I got a 50 millimeter. This is the Nifty 50 by Canon, pretty cheap, um, don't use it a whole lot, want to use it a little bit more, and then for camera bodies, um, I've got a lot, I've, I've, I've got three of them, um, Canon 90D, standard, right now, uh, this is for, this is on a budget, Canon 90D does 1080p, full HD, 60 frames per second. So you can slow down the video and post when you're working in Adobe Premiere. Um, and it's excellent for those slow motion paintball videos. 
And then I have dropping stuff. Uh, yeah, 7D, Mark III. I, or Mark II, rather. I used this all of 2019. Uh, workhorse of a camera, great camera, covered in paint. Um, it just doesn't do 60 frames per second at 1080p. It does 60 frames per second at 720. So that's, it's, it's getting old. It's showing its age. That's why I upgraded to the 90D. And then for still photography, uh, bread and butter is going to be the 60. Uh, the 6D Mark II is out right now. I won't even touch it. This is a full frame camera. It's not a crop sensor. So it has a, has a bigger sensor. Um, and that, what that does is it enables you to, in post, crop into uh, your pictures. So you're talking about using um, a 70 to 200 millimeter lens when you're um, tight onto the subject, 200 millimeters, shooting on a full frame camera, you can crop in even further and get those nice, crisp, sharp results. Um, I do have an assortment of microphones. I usually use Rode Go microphones. They're the best. They're the standard. There's nothing else I've ever used. Um, and I just picked up this, which is really nice, which is, it's called a free world monitor. And I just got it and I just used it when I was doing the Russian Legion stuff, uh, last week and it mounts on top of your camera and it it's a monitor and just allows you to see you could see for sharpness you could put zebras on you could uh see oversaturation in the picture if your picture's blown out amazing it's great highly recommend it um i mean i use i use this too this is great this is for uh, extra battery. If you want extra battery life, it takes two batteries, two Canon batteries, standard. Um, the only thing I do have to admit is it's a little wobbly, and sometimes the camera turns off. Who, who needs that in the middle of filming a point? It's annoying. Um, but that's it, guys. I mean, I, I use an assortment of gear, and my gear's always changing. So I hope this was helpful.